Welcome in. You are speaking with the Meeples Champion, and today we're going to be going over another unboxing. This is the third and final unboxing of the big boxes that were dropped off to me a couple weeks ago by my friend. So let's jump in. Let's see what we've got today. Now, this is probably the smallest of the boxes, but smallest doesn't mean worst. You never know what you're going to get. You know, I think with the first two that we saw, they were both games I was not ever going to really want to buy. Final Girl was definitely one that, well, I think it's great. I'm not going to go and I'm going to make an effort to even play that game. Whereas the Magli Metro, I don't think I'd ever want to own it because he owns it. But I think that it looks like a game I'd really like to try. So the question is, what are we getting in here? And is this a game that is going to have a little more interest to me? I got really confused for a second as I saw these and I was like, why am I getting like papayas? And I was like, oh no, these are mats. So we got a couple mats of something here. We got, let's see, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Oh, looks like this is a something to build for an old fashioned dice tower. The game is called Onus. Now I haven't heard of this game, so don't know where we're exactly headed here, but let's uh, pull out what we got. A lot of little pieces, old school Roman numeral dice. That's kind of cool. We got some expansions. So this is a lot of stuff all together. But why don't we pull out? Let's see, because we got a couple. We got the Onus pack, and it looks like this is Onus Trianus. So this might be the original game. So yeah, there's a there's a lot going on here. Let's see, Onus Trianus. The Roman Empire reached its maximum extension, with tra Trajan reaching beyond the Danube. I'm going to mess up all the pronunciations here. The enemies of Rome opposed its advance. Dacians, Parthians, Sarmatians, as well as the constant fighting with Celts and Germanic people. It is time to rewrite history. Are you ready? Onus puts you in command of one of the mighty armies of antiquity, with a game system similar to war games with miniatures, but using cards to r represent the units on the battlefield. With Onus, Trianus, you will fight Trajan's Dacian Wars, the Parthian Campaign, or in the Rebellion of the Brigantes. Which, whichever side you choose against other players or in single-player mode, every game is different. Enjoy epic battles between the main armies of the time of Trajan and Hadrian, back when the Roman Empire reached its maximum extension. So it looks like the Roman Empire, the Celts, the, the Dacia, the Germania, Parthia, Sarmantia, Roman Auxiliaries and the Mercenaries. And this game looks like it is one to four player. Should be under 30 minutes. So this is um, <laughs> this is the first of the three that I saw that I went, I might be interested in buying this one one day. Now he's got everything, so the likelihood is I'll never need to. However, this definitely grabs your attention of, I like a good war game, but I don't like ones that rely on dice. This one has loads and loads of different types of fighting units, different types of battles between people, maps. You got lots of cards involved, which always grabs my attention. It's, it's one I am putting right up there as an immediate, I want to try it. So this looks pretty fun. As I said, there's a lot to it. We've got maps. We've got a couple boxes here. We've got some bonus boxes inside. One, some dice. Let's see. We've got an expansion, which the expansion looks like. Different battlefields. Uh, yeah, it's terrain and fortresses. So it's a lot of cool stuff. Definitely something I'm looking to try out. Well, we have been here yet again for another unboxing with the Meeples Champion. And we've been checking out the game Onus. Until next time, I'll talk to you tomorrow.